Hey everybody, it's Dylan. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, today I'm returning looking at these gorgeous new Disney Story dolls from the Disney Store. And today is a much anticipated one, which is Ariel. And I have to say, Ariel and Snow White really were the, the biggest two I was looking forward to. So I'm really excited to open this up and take a look at all of her cool details. But if you don't know me, hi, my name is Dylan. I hope that you subscribe to my channel. If you like Disney princess dolls like I do, um, I think me and you would get along very well. So make sure um, if you are interested in that, that you subscribe, follow me. That way you can keep up with all of my posts and all of my news. But otherwise, let's take a look at this gorgeous doll. So as with all of these, many things going on with the box. So Ariel is here. She is swimming. She's in front of Atlantica. Looks like there's like kelp and seashells and some coral, some bubbles, and the sparkles just make this look like a magical ocean, you know. <laughs> the biggest change with Ariel is some added details with her seashell bra, which has made her really popular and all the rage. So basically the normal Ariel face sculpt, red hair, jointed arms, articulated everything, but it's made of plastic and fabric at the same time, like mixed together. So there's like these beautiful laces pieces that go around her neck, and then here's the actual seashell bra part. So that is really the big seller here. Otherwise, she also has these pretty little ruffles here on the top of her mermaid tail. So more added details. She comes with all these accessories over here. Disney Store logo includes doll and six accessories. And we have a bow, we have another dress for her to put on, some heels, looks like a fork dingle hopper brush, flounder and like a, a thing of baguettes and flowers like from the marketplace. It says Disney Princess Ariel, warning sign. <laughs> this mentions there's activities inside, we will get to that. And that is really the presentation here. On the side of the box, there is this really pretty picture of Ariel and she's looking behind her and you can just kind of see like the fastening there. That's really pretty. Um, you see her fins. Down here is Atlantica, the castle, seashells, more corals. This side is bubbles and uh, kelp and more sea kind of things. On the back though is where we get a glam shot of everything included. Disney Princess Ariel. Here is the scene for the doll, including all of the little accessories and things. It's really fun. Here is a sneak peek at the cool activities that they have in store for us. Product info. This was $29, even though it doesn't say it there. And here on this little line is these beautiful little um, like cutout shadows of characters from the film. So there's like Kelp, Sebastian, Flounder, Bubbles, there's Ariel. I, I really like how they do that. Okay, so we open her up with this tab up here. You just kind of pull this out and then this creates the scene for the actual doll. So, so, so pretty. Um, she is definitely underwater. This is maybe even like her grotto area down here perhaps, but she's surrounded by bubbles and kelp and coral um, and just framed in this pretty like ocean seascape. There's rocks. Down here, this does remind me of like her grotto somewhat because it has like these levels in it. But this is like where you would play the doll and also um, just pose her because it makes for excellent pictures. <laughs> so as with all of these, we just have to cut something to get her out. I do want to be really careful that I don't nick something in the process because one little snip would uh, ruin her outfit so we have to just be very careful these have been very easy to get out okay looks like she might still be held in there Snow White and Mulan really just like fell out of the box like oh so maybe there's something else holding her in 
Ah, down here at the bottom, see here with her fins, looks like there is something there holding her in. So we might have to um, approach this a little differently, that way I can get that. Hang on one second. Okay, so I did do that off camera because it just was not flattering. And also I might have used some curse words while I was trying to get her out of here. <laughs> so I didn't want anyone to hear that. <laughs> but anywho, so she had ties down here and at her waist and I did manage to get that out. What was making it so difficult is these new fins that she has, which are so pretty. And they actually had them like, like looped through this like little, um, circle thing down here and I was like how in the world did they even accomplish that but we have survived <laughs> so here's just a quick shot of Ariel and then we're gonna get this other dress out and that is where we're gonna look at all of the beautiful details I've learned here that you have to reach behind the dress and actually um, take apart the velcro to get these off or you're gonna risk like breaking something. Come on, Velcro. All right, here it comes. Some of it's actually tucked behind the actual cardboard here. Come on, all right. Oh, how pretty, I love this. Wow. Wow, okay, okay. Oh, I love these little sparkles on it. Okay, we'll look at this in just a second. So my gosh, guys, Ariel is so beautiful in person. Um, honestly, while she was sitting in the box, I was kind of thinking, okay, maybe I just hyped too much about her, but now that she's out, like, I'm so pleased with this Ariel Classic doll. And like, I know that not a whole lot has changed from the others, but still I'm like, there's just so many, there's just things here that is so different that just makes me love her more. So she has this beautiful face. Um, she's had this face since 2019. And then she has this beautiful seashell bra, like it's, it's glittered here. And then around it, there's plastic pieces but also like this pretty like ruffle here. It's so, so shiny and lovely. It's actually like the same, I think, material as what's here on her uh, fins. And I, I love that, that makes all the difference. Her mermaid tail is of course glittered with beautiful uh, scales and, and just details. This is not new, but I will say that these fins are really a showstopper here. Like this fabric is so nice. I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but this is so like shiny and nice. This is definitely just not those two little strips of fabric that we have gotten before. Um, it's so shiny, like it's, it's just so, so pretty. I love this. They actually tied her hair up so um, on a lot of the, the princesses that have long hair, just for quality control, they have to tie their hair up in these cardboard boxes. So we're gonna go ahead and undo that now because it's been contained for too long. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like this is the only way that they could really control hair from like not getting crazy in the box. So, um, yeah, of course her hair is, is beautiful. I mean, I never have any complaints on aerial hair, um, other than sometimes they just don't get her bang right, but uh, no complaints here. It's such a pretty bright red, gorgeous. So interesting, this bra actually like fastens in the back, fastens there, and then actually it fastens around the neck with that ruffle. So it actually like latches. I think that's really cool. So very amazing. So let's take a look at Ariel's little things and accessories that come with her. And then we're gonna continue looking at this beautiful outfit. So segueing to the back of this, we want to fold this down 
and here reveals all of Ariel's cool uh, activities. So I have figured out after doing three of these reviews that each activity is the same, it's just themed for different princesses. So up here we always have a shadow game. <laughs> so there's fine shadows of Scuttle, of Fish, King Triton, Ariel, Sebastian, and Flounder. We need to fill this piece in here, so pick whichever piece fits best. <laughs> Here's a, a maze for Ariel to get to Sebastian. Connect the dots to make Ariel's fishtail. And draw a flounder in the squares. But my favorite is this very nostalgic, amazing coloring book page down here. And I mean, you can color it if you want or if you don't want, but it's just so, so pretty. The journey to Ariel's accessories is marked by uncharted waters here, um, as you have to fold down this tab without trying to break anything. Fold this tab up, this falls back, yep. And then we have an inner casing, which is of course where the doll was, but we want to take this apart and then here we have a pull thingy. And this is where they encase the accessories. So if really, if no one told me, I wouldn't know where to go. <laughs> and they, they don't tell you this. So you just have to explore, I guess. So we got that off all the way down. In this pocket is where they keep the accessories and this cardboard piece here. So here's where everything is in these uh, tissue paper. And it actually looks like a lot of it spilled out, sort of, but that's okay. <laughs> so we'll get this back together and we'll look at all of these pretty things. All right, so we have Flounder. He's looking very happily. He's looking up. <laughs> I think we've seen this Flounder before in like a play set or something. Um, so this is not new new, but it's, it's really painted very nicely. He has green eyes, it like shows his little tongue there, um, little fins, very colorful. He's striped on the side. Um, the only thing on this side, it looks like there's like a little smudge or something. I don't know, that's, that's weird, like some glue or something. So that just must be a little defect, but otherwise he's really pretty and of course uh, a good friend of Ariel's. <laughs> Next is this cool little brush that's actually modeled off a dingle hopper. So it looks like a really pretty fork. It has like seashells on it. Maybe this is used in Eric's castle. And there are these like picks here that you could use as a brush. I wouldn't recommend using this on your doll's hair because it might tear it up, <laughs> but um, it's it's pretty nonetheless. You know, it's um, it's it's pretty for this doll to hold as an accessory. We have that pack of bread and flowers. It looks like French bread. It has a bow around it. Really looks awesome for Ariel like to hold while she's exploring the village. So I think that's probably what the point of this is. And it, of course, it's painted very nicely. Little blue bow to put in her hair whenever you do transform her into the other outfit. And then I was really surprised with these pretty heels um, for her other outfit. They're so stunning. They're like little pearly white heels that have little like pearl details on them. So pretty, was not expecting that. So I can't wait to see them on her. Okay, so that means let's get this other dress on Ariel because we have to see what it looks like. Thankfully with Ariel, it seems like everything is removable in a pretty simple way. Um, just we have to be careful not to mess up any hair. So this actually like fastens it has like a little pin ah okay yeah and then the top piece is velcroed as its fabric and then this just lifts off 
wow, okay. Yes, doll nudity is just plastic. Don't be offended or anything here, but really cool. Fins, um, I'm wondering how, <laughs> how these are gonna be when you get these back on. <laughs> there is some Velcro. I'm gonna just slowly, oh, slip it off. All right, boom. <laughs> I think Ariel was the easiest to change outfits. Really funny. And she has green uh, underwear on, um, probably to match her fin. So the other dress just has Velcro. The top is like sheer and it has little like sparkles on it, like little drops of sparkle. There's a pretty bow in the middle, stitched very nicely. I love this. Seashell like printing on the fabric with little waves and bubbles and it's eyelet. So like there's see-through bits here and that goes all the way around. I really like that. Yeah. So let's get this on her. Still trying not to mess with her hair too much because I don't want it looking all mangy. <laughs> So these are long sleeves, but they are soft. So I'm wondering, you know, if this will be easier than with Mulan, cause those were pretty like a firm fabric. Yeah, this is pretty simple. So that would make it easy for adults and gr um, kids <laughs> to change your clothes. I, I, I absolutely love this. <laughs> I know I'm saying that about everything, but I truly love this dress on her. So we'll get the Velcro done there. Wow. <laughs> wow. So nice. I love it. Uh, yeah. So we got, we got to get the other accessories here. Like, wow get this all straightened out and stuff. So pretty, so pretty. And this is supposed to represent her kiss the girl outfit. Let's look at those heels. I know that's what everyone is like wanting to see. <laughs> so we have one. Oh, so nice, so nice. And then another. Wow. Wow. Really, really pretty. I love it. And then with the bow, I mean, what you could do is like, maybe like even make a ponytail if you wanted, or like you could make like one strand pulled back with the bow. Um, but I think it's meant to go like on the back of her head. But yeah, like if you wanted to do that, like it could go here. But look at this like darling little aerial outfit, you know, it's just so pretty. All right, guys, I think that's all the details here of this beautiful aerial classic doll I needed to show you. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you're gonna buy her and what you think of her. Otherwise, if you haven't followed or subscribed to me yet, please do so now. That way you can keep up with all of these beautiful doll reviews. But otherwise, see you guys next time, okay? <laughs> Bye.